Hello, my fellow color enthusiasts. I've been out of sight for a little while working on some new colors for resin art. We have 10 new colors for basically the fall winter ice collection. Um, eight of them are an interesting combination. Think of them as a, com as a combo of a nice luster pigment mixed with some unexpected sparkle of the galaxy diamond. Uh, we have yeah, colors, and I'll give you the names of them as I'm pouring them out, but you'll recognize them as a lot of food and a lot of uh, uh, winter colors like a sangria wine. And then we have two pure galaxy diamond colors, and if you are in love with the Andromeda and the Purple Galaxy, you're going to love the Brazilian Green and the Aruba Sky. Aruba Sky is a, is a smoky, dark blue teal that's a diamond color, and the Brazilian Green sounds just like what it sounds like. It is a dark, turquoise, beautiful, exotic green, similar to our Guatemalan Green in the Primary Elements, but a few shades darker. So I'm going to get some resin mixed up, and I'll be right back. I'm going to do some white up one end and black up the other end. So let's get a close up of that. Hopefully the camera's going to show you how turquoise that is. It looks a little bit green here. Wow, and I put a lot down. I didn't mean to put so much down. <laughs> Was not my intention. Got to be a little bit more careful from this point on. Now this is delphinium. Oh my gosh, that color is gorgeous. So we're going to warm these. I am loving that delphinium blue.
Okay, so the next color is, seems crazy to put the red in here, but I am going to do the pomegranate next. color and it's not a gold it's actually a yellow called butterscotch You notice I'm just kind of swiping off the colors. Ooh. Oh, I'm really liking what's happening right there. Oh my gosh. Can we get a close up right there? Okay, where this happened on a little tile sample I did too. Wherever that butterscotch is hitting that pomegranate coming over, look at that hot pink to purple to, of course the gold is, we're getting a little bit of lacing. Uh, the Illumilite is designed for the, the white to actually go over the color, and then the stone coat is designed for it to go, the color to go over the swiping area. size of swipe but I don't know if it's wide enough to go over this here let's do this we want to make sure we're catching that red and this gold Ooh, I like what I got by playing with my lazy Susan did you guys see that that I'm happy with Okay, so I like these little rounds for tile tests. They're much more fun than a kitchen tile, or my, my, tile, my test, my color test. And I can show over black and white and still get some interesting effects. Now, I'm not real happy with just that white and black, so I'm probably gonna heat it slightly, but Now my lamp above is not, which was helpful in the beginning for the colors, is now giving us a hard time on the glare. I'm kind of liking what I got going on here. I'm not sure how much more. Delphinium to the pomegranate to that butterscotch. I am not really the biggest yellow person, but boy, I'm turning into a yellow fan doing this. This looks a little bit just kind of 
blah. I don't know if I should put the yellow in there or be happy that this has kind of a relief. Or... And I still have this little white gap here of black that turned a little funny. I'm just going to put a drop of the black there, heat it. And then just a little bit more of the pomegranate. And then take, I got a new little tiny thin one, even though I don't even think this is thin enough. see if I can't get that red kind of go over the top of that black. That's kind of interesting right there. I love how that's glowing there. So then a little bit more delphinium. I think this green's looking a little bit just kind of eh. I'm in love with this blue. It is one of the prettiest blues. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to kind of let it cruise in and out of my Brazilian green. Swipe the excess back on. So it looks a little bit more interesting over there, not just the straight color. Okay, I kind of like this. Not bad, so we've got pomegranate, Brazilian green, delphinium, and butterscotch. I'm gonna put this up. I've got another round ready to go, and we'll look at the next five colors. Be right back. So this is the Brazilian green, that dark teal green, Daphidium blue. Close up on that pomegranate, mixing with our butterscotch yellow. And boy, that pomegranate, that Daphidium where it hits right there is really pretty where those colors hit. So that's that little test. Here's the sangria wine. Here's the pistachio.
Here's the salted caramel. And here's that really pretty myrtle green. You guys missed that, huh? To heat that up so you could see that all by itself. up and then around into the black. Okay, so let, let's take this, we're going to go with the salted caramel. There's the myrtle. You can tell these are all really wintry, fall-like colors. I'm just putting alcohol on my swipe paper so I can reuse it. That way it doesn't get ruined. While I'm watching what's happening with the lacing here, we are getting some lacing over that black. I realize these are very dark winter colors and maybe not appropriate over black, and yet you still need to see as a test what happens if they're pulled over black.
So it's a little weird right here. I think if I was going to fix it. Such a pretty color. And my pistachio got lost, but there's still plenty here to add a little vein of it all the way around. Okay, so that's a little bit bold, but hey. Kind of a go bold, go bold, or go home. So I have some weird black up here, starting up here that looks like it's disconnected. So I'm actually going to start by pulling this pistachio up over that black. Kind of completed that. That looks nice. I'm going to then pick some of this Some nice patterns though with this. This is perfect. I'm happy with that. Ooh, getting some nice patterns here. So rather than swipe, I think I'll draw pretty patterns in that white that's pleasing. Okay, so over here, I have this line that I drew of pistachio. nice lacing right here. I don't know if I want to mess with. But I do have a couple little slices here. Little thin slicers. So this is kind of where it ends and where it begins. So that caramel and red, it's pretty, but it just so happens I have some delphinium left. I know you guys already saw it, but I really think that right here where that caramel is, it might look pretty right up against that myrtle green. Can I say I love this blue? Because I just used it again. Ah, yeah, it's left, right? I don't want to throw it away. And it is starting to seize up. The resin's going to seize up here very, very soon. So, all right, I'm going to heat up the blue. This could be a mistake, maybe. Getting some really nice lacing right here and right here. I'm going to take a tiny bit more of my myrtle green, what I've got left. Mm. 
Because that blue and that green are so pretty together. When they swipe together, they're going to be gorgeous. And even though we don't really need it, we have a little bit of the Brazilian green, that first really dark, dark pretty green that we had. So I might as well do a vein of that too. colors but I just wanted to see what these colors would look swiped into that pretty caramel kind of getting some peacocky colors here Yeah, try to use up this resin too before it seizes up. Like I said, we're going to do one more mix because we still have the Sweet Lilac and the Aruba Sky to go. I don't know if you can see. It's funny, that black has really shown up a lot of color. It's now getting a little bit busy with the center swipe that I did. <laughs> this Delphinium in the uh, blue. I do like how the myrtle is reacting to that other green and blue. That's that delphinium again. I, this color right here is just mind blowing. It's probably like why I kept grabbing it. But I'm going to let this set up. I'll let you see what it looks dry the next day. So here it is lacing over the black. This is the myrtle green pistachio. A little bit of the sangria. We're going to get over here where we'll see more of the sangria red wine right there. There you go. There's more of that beautiful delphinium. There's that salted caramel. That warm, sparkling brown. This was kind of a strange little section to the left, but the way the sangria kind of, when I combed in the white, it was kind of interesting. This lacing's crazy. I am in love with that blue. That delphinium blue is just a stunner. I want to put it in everything. And that sangria wine is so incredible. Anyway, here's the third one. Kind of a mashup of quite a few of them. So the Aruba Sky is a galaxy diamond color. It is a very dark blue teal. Man, it's really hard to get the camera to do this because like I said, it's such a dark, smoky, smoky turquoise blue. Okay, Sweet Lilac is definitely going to pop in the camera. The pigments alone are just gorgeous. And that is in your face. red lilac and one more time to see if we can get the aruba in the 
it is so dark. Do you see the diamond effect in there? Whew. You think the Andromeda is dark, but this is a teal. Okay. Putting the clear down because it'll lubricate this surface. This is just board painted with white paint, so it's going to grab that paint. A lot of times people will lubricate the surface. I realize that green is there. There's not much I can do about it. I'll just incorporate that in part of the piece. Let's see if we can get a close-up of that Aruba. Can you see that? That is a dark, dark, dark teal blue. Just want you guys to see this before we get going here. And then a close-up of the other, the Sweet Lilac. So is the close-up on that Sweet Lilac and that Aruba Sky. Before I go any further, at least you know you've seen that test, right? So I wanted the Arctic Blue just to have something light to break these two up. And then hoping that the pistachio adds a little bit of, uh, now this is the pistachio mixed with the myrtle. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. that pistachio mixed with that myrtle. That is a really pretty, interesting combination. I kind of got myself boxed into a corner, eh? Let's see if I can get myself out of it. That's interesting. I'm getting some interesting lacing within itself. Never actually have the resin art. Do that. You can see that smoky turquoise blue. That's that Aruba sky right here. So this is the sweet lilac. This is the Aruba sky.
It really needs a gold or something to break it up. Probably it was really why I wanted to do that butterscotch. made up all that white, so here goes nothing, kids. So the negative space is Milky Way. Just I don't know why I'm getting lacing with my, our own product. Why is our own product lacing into itself? All that is is clear resin in the Aruba. So I'm filling in this white space with that Milky Way diamond color. This is why I like Lazy Susan. pistachio and everything, all that color that was on this board is trying to lift up now and get into it. So we just have to kind of embrace kind of that, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, what's happening here. Wiping anything, so I don't have much of this Aruba left. Let me see what happens when I swipe this Aruba and the Arctic Blue. Ooh, now that's with purpose. I like that. I'm almost getting a violet here. This is a little strange. I don't kind of like that little patch from underneath. So I'm going to make it look like the violet kind of strung its way over here. I'm not going to argue with it. I'm getting lacing from something.
connected fun thing. So now I want some of this green in here to kind of finish this out because I got other colors in the white. So see if I can get some of this. Just add a little bit to that pistachio green. I just want to blush a color and I'm going to take over that whole area. Because I really like this lacy purple color. Well, this isn't bad for a tile test or for a color test. So to recap, this is your ruble blue, that dark teal. This is the sweet violet, that fantastic purple. I uh, used a little arctic blue to kind of break it up. And the green is a combination of the myrtle and the pistachio. Let's see if I can get this all in the shot so you can see it. It's pretty subtle, but I actually like this one. I'm kind of liking these rounds. This is, Today's my first time playing with the rounds, and so I'm quite enjoying them. Anyway, I'll give you guys a shot of these after they dry. Thank you for joining me on this part. So this is the sweet lilac, that purple, that deep smoky teal is that Aruba sky. This real interesting green, I had mixed uh, the pistachio and the a myrtle together but it looks like this board was um, why I'm filming this right now is this board was warped it's a top to a container and some of that color is coming off looks like I've got some bubbles I still need to pop in here but look at how pretty even that Milky Way is oh my god look every color of the rainbow in that This is just her test. It's a tester to see what is the Aruba sky. And that light blue is that Arctic blue. It's really pretty with the Aruba sky. And that gorgeous sweet violet.